my name is Sarah and today I will be guiding you through a Nyasa flow style class. The class will be about will be about 60 minutes long and I hope you really enjoy. So to begin the class I will get you to sit in a easy pose, so just with your legs crossed. You can have your legs crossed like this, or if you like, you can bring your ankles to join one another. It's nothing too challenging, so just find your level of comfortability. Make sure that your sit bones are rooting deeply into the earth and feel long through the crown of the head. Slowly roll the shoulders back and just take a moment to close your eyes. I want you to begin to start breathing nice and deeply. And as you do this, slowly begin to bring the awareness just to the outside of your nostrils. See if you can feel the coolness of your inhale through your nose and the warmth of the exhale as it leaves. Our breath becomes our anchor into our experience. So if you ever feel that your mind is taking over or that you're slightly disconnected from your body, just bring your awareness back into your breath. Work to deepen the breath. And find your natural rhythm. Now from here, I'm going to get you to bring one hand to your heart center, one hand onto your belly. Continue to have your eyes closed. And with me, you're going to begin to inhale. And as you inhale, you're going to puff up the belly, draw air into the midsection and then into the collarbones. And then as you exhale, release the air from the collarbones, the midsection, and squeeze the belly in. Inhale, belly midsection, chest, exhale, chest, midsection, belly. Just continue to move through the cycle. Belly, midsection, chest, exhale, chest, midsection, belly. I just want you to take a moment to understand the nature of the breath. Our breath is something that occurs whether we have our conscious awareness on it or not. It's what carries our life force around the body. Our inhales allow us to invigorate and our exhales allow us to release. So keep this in mind as you begin to move and just recognize how powerful the breath can be and utilize its power. When you're ready, you can slowly begin to open your eyes, bring your hands down to your knees. Just take a moment here, once again, just feeling nice and long and tall through the crown of the head. I'm going to get you to inhale, bring your left hand to your left side. As you exhale, 
You're going to bring your right arm over and begin to lean. So you can keep your hand, elbow up, or if it's comfortable, you can come down to the elbow. Feel a nice stretch in the side body, just making sure that the right sit bone is still connected to the earth. Take your eye gaze slightly to the ceiling. And then as you inhale, sweep your arms back up. Exhale, plant your hand and just repeat on the other side. If you're on your elbow, drop down, making sure you do the same thing. Rotating slightly, the eye gaze goes to the ceiling. Come back to centre. As you bring your hands up, on your next exhale, you're going to rotate, bring your left hand behind you, your right hand onto your left knee. Take your eye gaze to the back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Right arm behind you, left arm onto the right knee. Inhale, sweep up. We'll just continue to sweep and breathe for a moment. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, rotate. Once more, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, rotate. One last time. And then inhale, sweep up. Come back to center. Bring your arms through the center. From here, I'm going to get you to bring your hands onto your knees. You're going to take a nice long inhale. As you inhale, you're going to pull your hands towards your chest and you're going to begin to arc the heart forward. So inhale, drop the head back. And then as you exhale, you're going to curl your spine, tuck your chin, and really pull your navel towards your spine. Inhale, pull on the knees, puff the chest, drop the head. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine, really curl in. Inhale once more, puff the chest. Exhale, curl. And then nice and slowly, you can come back to center. So from here, I'm going to get you to extend both of your legs out. You're going to focus on drawing the heels of the foot into the ground. Keep a slight bend in your knees. You're going to bring your fingertips either side of your hips. You're going to feel nice and long in the spine. And then as you exhale, you're going to slowly hinge forward. Focus on drawing the navel towards the thighs. So for now, you're just going to keep the chest up and then see how far you can walk your hands forward. If this might be your first stretch for the day, you might feel tight in the hamstrings, but that's okay. Just slowly working on warming up the body. So just let yourself settle into the shape. With every inhale, create length in the spine. And with every exhale, see if you can draw your belly button up button closer to your thighs. And now when you're ready, slowly walk the hands back. You're going to bring your legs wide now. So I want you to flex the feet, draw the heels in towards the earth. Open your legs as wide as is comfortable. Find that space first, and then from here, you're going to bring one hand to the inside of your thigh and one behind you, and you're just going to pick your bum up and just shift it slightly forward, just to get a tiny bit more of an opening. Once again, you might feel a bit tight here, so keep a nice bend in the knees. Make sure that the heels are drawing down, the toes are pointing up. You're going to create length first in the spine, and then maybe, if you're comfortable, or you can stay up here if this is a strong stretch for you. You can slowly walk the hands forward. Once again, just feeling nice and long through the spine, making sure that the sit bones are connected to the earth. Take a new, nice few grounding breaths.
Then what you're going to do, you're going to start to stir the pot. So imagine you've got a big stick in your hand. You're going to take your attention over to the left foot. You're going to reach your hand out, sweep it across to the right foot, and then pull the hand in. Like you're stirring like a big, warm, juicy pot of soup. <laughs> um, that requires a really big spoon. And you're going to keep creating these circles. Once again, making sure that your sit bones are still connecting to the earth and that the heels are drawing into the ground. And then once you've done a few circles, you can come back to center. And then we'll go the other way. We're always going to make sure to the best of our abilities that we focus on both sides of the body, keeping that balance. slowly come back to center. From here, just put your hands under your knees, draw your feet, knees up, feet down, and just slowly walk your feet in. Just for a moment, I'm going to get you to bring your feet wide, about a hip distance apart, and then just drop your knees down to the right, bring them back up to center, and then drop them down to the left. Using your fingertips just behind you to support you. Go to the right side again. Back to center. Left side. Back to center. And we'll do one more side. Round on either side. Back to center and then left side. Awesome. So from here, I'm going to get you to come into your hands and the knees. Placing the top of the mat. So we're just going to begin by aligning our hands. So you want to make sure that your hands and your wrists are above your shoulders. So they're about shoulder width apart. Really spread the fingers wide onto the mat. Push into the heel of the palm. Turn the fingertips on. And this will help to activate the energy line that comes all the way up into the shoulder. You want to imagine that there's something sitting on your neck and you're going to push up. From here, you're going to keep that shape as you make sure that your hips are in line with your knees. Slightly draw the navel in towards the spine. Tuck the toes or have them untucked, whatever you prefer. I like mine tucked because it helps me with my balance. And then from here, you're going to inhale. You're going to begin to draw your chin towards your chest as you curl your spine forward and then as you exhale you're going to drop the belly really pull the hands towards the chest tilt the sit bones back take your heart forward inhale curling up again into our cat pose tucking the chin really pulling the hands towards the knees exhale lower down into our cow Feeling the length in the spine, tilting the sit bones back. One more, inhale, come to our cat. Making sure the head draws towards the chin. Release once more, dropping the belly, drawing the hands towards the knees. And then when you're ready, you can slowly come back to center. Then from here, you're gonna extend the right arm out and you can begin to weave it underneath the left. As you do this, you're going to drop down onto your right shoulder, bringing your right ear to the mat. If this feels good, you can stay here. If it's a bit more comfortable, you can walk your left fingertips forward of the mat. Just feeling a nice shoulder stretch. And then when you're ready, walk your left hand back in. Right hand goes down. This time we'll bring the left arm out to the left side and then begin to weave it underneath the right arm as you lower down onto your left shoulder. Once again, bringing the left ear to the mat. If this feels good, you can stay here or you can begin to walk the right fingertips forward. Making sure that you push the fingertips into the mat. And then when you're ready, Walk that hand back, and then slowly 
come back into your tabletop position. So from here, what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to just bring your hands out slightly forward, but once again, make sure they're about shoulder width apart. You're going to tuck your toes, you're going to draw your navel in towards your spine, and then you're going to begin to pick your knees up off of the ground, just for a moment. And then nice and slow, you're going to begin to draw the hips up towards the sky, and we'll come to our first downward dog. So to check the alignment here in downward dog, you want to make sure that your feet are about hips width apart, hands are about shoulder width apart, engaging through the fingertips and the heel of the hands in both hands to activate the energy lines up into the shoulders. For the first downward dog, you might feel a bit tight in the thighs and the hamstrings, so you want to keep a nice generous bend in the knees. This might mean that your heels are off the ground and that's okay. From here, you really want to draw the navel in towards the spine and you want to feel as if you're pushing your shoulders towards your ears. So this is going to help you elongate the spine. Make sure that your head is dropped so you can rock it from side to side. And if you would like to, you can pedal through the feet. Just feeling what feels good in the body. Then from here, you're going to take your eyebrows to the top of the mat. And you're just going to slowly walk. Just really bend in the knees generously if you need to, come into the fingertips if that helps. However you get there, you're just going to find yourself at the top of your mat. So I'm going to get you to take your feet, once again, hip distance apart, really spread through the toes, shift the weight into the tops of the toes, and then as you inhale, you're going to lengthen your spine forward. And you can have your hands either on your shins or on the floor, depending on your flexibility. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, fold. Once again, make sure that the weight is predominantly in the toes and you're going to draw the crown of the head towards the earth. Really lengthening the sit bones up towards the sky. And then from here, inhale as you bend into your knees nice and generously. And you're going to begin to sweep your arms up. Take your arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring your hearts through the prayer, through the heart center. And we're going to come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So I'll just go through the alignment here of Mountain Pose. So ideally you want to have your feet about hip width apart, or if you want, you can bring your feet together. It depends what feels more comfortable and natural for you. For me, that's about hip width apart. First, I want to activate the feet. So by doing that, I'm going to pick up all of my toes. I'm going to spread my toes, and then I'm going to try and put just my big toe down first. Then from here, I'm going to continue to spread the toes as I lay them onto the mat. This is going to help energy rebound through the soles of my feet, up through my pelvis, and then continue up through the crown of my head. So making sure that the foundation is solid, regardless of what pose we're in, is going to help that energy move fluidly through the body. So from here, keep a nice slight bend in the knees. Make sure that your hips are over your heels, that your shoulders are over your hips. Roll your shoulder blades down. Feel nice and long through the crown of your head as if someone's pulling you up. Bring your hands outside, either side of your body, sorry. Engage through the fingertips. Feel nice and long, tall, strong, like a mountain. As if you can resist and withstand anything that's thrown you away. And then when you're ready, you can begin to inhale, sweep the arms up. Eye gaze goes to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you begin to fold forward. Make sure that your back is flat. And then slowly begin to drop the head down into your forward fold or uttanasana. You can keep a nice bend in the knees if this feels good. If not, you can work to straighten your legs. And then you're going to inhale, come into a flat back. So come into your fingertips, shine your heart forward. And then on your exhale, you're going to shift the weight into your left foot and come into the ball of the right foot. From here, continue to shift the weight into the left foot until your right foot feels light. You're going to pick that foot up. You're going to shift it behind you. Really point through that right toe. And then you're going to slowly bend into the left knee 
and you're going to anticipate the mat behind you. So really bend, 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 and know that the mat's going to be there for your right foot, but you're trying to resist it. And then nice and slow, connect your right toes to the mat, drop down onto the knee, and then inhale, sweep your arms up. So in our low lunge, we're just going to make sure that our knee is tracking over our heel. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the thigh here. Make sure your back toes are tucked, arms are up. You're going to feel nice and buoyant through the chest. So feel as if your chest is a balloon and it wants to go up. Really strength, uh, sorry, lengthen through the fingertips. And then when you're ready, you're going to exhale and you're going to sweep your arms behind you. And you're going to imagine someone's pulling your arms back. But you're trying to bring your chest down. And then you're going to inhale, sweep up, feel light. Exhale, fold. Feel strong. Inhale, sweep up. And then on your next exhale, you're going to bring your fingertips to frame your front foot as you slowly shift your hips back. So this leg that's extended out, we want to create a nice line. So by doing that, you're going to come onto the ball, sorry, the heel of your left foot. You're going to engage through the toes, flex them towards your face. Make sure that your hip is in line with your knee. Bring your fingertips to frame that front foot. Keep the back toes tucked. You're going to inhale, create length as you shine your heart forward. And then exhale, bend your elbows as you drop your head over your thigh. Inhale, create length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, create length. And then on your next breath, you're going to shift the weight forward. You're going to plant the sole of your left foot. Keep your fingertips on the ground or the palms of your hand on the ground, whatever feels okay. Lift the back knee and then drop your heel to a 45 degree angle. So your foot is creating a 45 degree angle and you have a heel to heel alignment. From here, you're going to weight into your feet. Use that energy by pushing into the earth to rebound your torso up. You want to make sure that your hips are tracking forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, sink a little deeper into your knee, making sure it's still in line over your heel. And slowly begin to interlace the fingers. Puff the chest up. And you begin to fold forward into a humble warrior. Allowing the arms to drop over the head. Take a breath into this shape. And then slowly release the hands. Pick up your back heel, come into the ball of the back foot. From here, push into the earth as you bring your left foot to join your right foot. And we'll come into a plank position. So to check the alignment of our plank, you want to make sure the fingertips are engaged, heels of the hands are pushing into the mat. Really arc the, uh, the shoulder blades as if something's on your shoulders and you're trying to push it away from you. Make sure that you're feeling long through the heels. And then you're going to begin to shift the weight forward, squeeze the elbows in, and then slowly lower down through your chaturanga onto your belly. From here, you can untuck your toes, walk your hands forward. Bringing your elbows underneath your shoulders, you're going to create, once again, these 90 degree angles. Fingertips are spread, push into the tops of your feet, draw your ankles towards one another, slightly tuck your tailbone, and then pull your hands towards your chest as you rebound your heart forward. Take an inhale through this shape. Exhale to release. And then when you're ready, bring your hands either side of your chest, tuck your toes, push your hips back. Just momentarily, we're going to take a child's pose. So you're going to draw the sit bones towards the heels, extending the arms out, and you're going to drop your head down. Take a breath. And then from here, keep the foundation of your hands and your feet. You're just going to pick up your knees and draw your hips up towards the sky. And come back into our downward dog. So from here, just really grounding down first. 
take a moment to reconnect to your breath. Then you're going to shift the weight into your left foot as you bring your right foot behind you. Make sure that your hip is square by checking to see if your pinky toe is pointing down. Not pointing to the side, but pointing down. Then from here, you're going to bend that knee and you're going to draw that knee all the way through the body and place it next to your right hand. Then from here, you're going to bring your left foot to meet your right foot. You bring your fingertips forward of your feet. Inhale, length of the spine. Exhale, begin to hinge forward as you drop into your forward fold. Then from here, sweep the arms up. Eye goes to the ceiling. Exhale. Coming back through center. Bring your arms out to the side, just to come to reconnect to your mountain pose. Take a few moments. And then we'll continue on to the other side. So from here, inhale, sweep the arms up. Take your eye gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge at the hips as you keep a flat back and you fold forward. Dropping the crown of the head, fingertips to the floor of the shins. Inhale. Create a flat back. And then begin to shift the weight into your right foot. Come to the ball of the left foot. Really push down through the right foot to allow the left foot to feel right. From here, you're going to bring that left foot behind you. Really extend out. Point the toes to the back of the mat. Bend generously into the right knee. And you're going to anticipate the mat, but you're going to go slow. How slow can you go? And when you're ready, find the back of the mat with your left toes. Drop down onto the left knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Then exhale, slowly pull your arms behind you. Inhale, sweep up. Feel nice and buoyant through the chest. Exhale. Arms go behind you. Once more, inhale, sweep up. Exhale. Plant your hands onto the mat as you shift your hips back. So once again, you want to make sure your left hip is in line with your left knee. You're going to create a, a nice line between the heel of the foot and the hip on your right leg. Then push the heel into the floor and then engage the toes. Pull them towards your face. Keep a slight bend in the knee to protect the knees. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, begin to fold over the thigh. Continue to move through the wave in motion of your breath. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Once more, inhale. Then on your next exhale, you're going to shift the weight forward. Plant the right foot. Really engage through the toes. Pick up your back knee and then drop your heel so you create a 45 degree angle from the heel and the toes. Making sure that the heels are in line with one another. If you need to, like I do, you can just maybe walk that little back, that back foot in a little bit. Keeping the knee over the heel, you're going to push into the soles of the feet and rebound your energy up to lift your torso. Once again, make sure you've got this alignment and then you begin to sweep the arms up. I guess goes to the ceiling. Exhale, sink a little deeper into what you feel. Then begin to bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Puff your chest up nice and high. And then as you exhale, you're going to drop the right ear inside of the right knee. Letting the arms come overhead. Getting into the shoulders. Really rooting through the edges of both of your feet. Once again, making sure that there's stability there. This will help you keep you in the pose. And then from here, you're going to release your hands, frame your front foot, pick up the heel of the back foot, come to the ball of the foot, push the mat away from you as you bring your right foot to meet the left. Inhale as you shift the weight over your wrist, squeeze your elbows in as you begin to create a 90 degree angle, lower down, all the way onto your belly, untuck your feet, 
walk your hands slightly forward, elbows under the shoulders, tops of the feet push into the mat, draw your ankles towards one another, slightly tuck your tailbone, spread your fingers, and then begin to pull your elbows towards your chest as you arc your heart forward. Inhale. Exhale to release something. And then from here, you're going to bring your hands either side of your chest, tuck your toes. You're going to draw your hips, uh, your sit bones, sorry, to your heels. You're going to push back, draw your hips towards your sit uh, to your heels. <laughs> Drop your head. Take a child's pose for a minute. Inhale. And then exhale. Then on your next inhale, keep the stability in your hands and your toes. You're just going to pick up your knees and then you're going to draw your hips towards the sky, coming into our down dog. You might start to feel a little warmer now, so you can begin to work towards lengthening and straightening the legs. But if it's not accessible to you, keep the knees bent. Make sure that you're pushing your hands into the mat, drawing the navel towards the spine. Shift the weight into the right foot, bring the left foot behind you. And then as you inhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest, and then slowly bring that foot to the top of the mat, either side, so inside of both of your hands. Then from here, bring your right foot to meet your left foot. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold over the thighs, dropping the crown of the head. A few breaths. And then inhale, push into your feet. As you inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, come through center. Take a moment here. Feel grounded and stable. So we're going to continue to add onto the sequence a little bit. So we might move the pace up just a tiny bit, but um, we'll go through it together. So. From here, I'm going to get you to inhale your arms up. Exhale, you're going to begin to pretend like you're sitting on a chair. So bend into your knees, drop your hips. Make sure that your knees are over your heels. Tuck your tailbone slightly and then extend your arms up into chair pose. Take your eyes to the ceiling and roll your shoulders down just slightly. Then from here, you're going to inhale as you begin to hinge forward, dropping the head. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward, pulling your fingers towards your toes to help your heart move down a little more. Next breath, shift the weight into the left foot, come into the ball of the right foot. Then begin to let your right foot feel light. As you pick it up, extend it all the way behind you, really point the toes, bend into the left knee, and slower than you want to, find the back of the mat with your toes, and then drop it onto your knee. As you inhale, sweep your arms up, I guess goes to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the arms back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, draw the arms back. Once more, inhale, sweep up. And then from here, bring your hands down and you're just going to walk your left foot just slightly out towards the left side. Now you're going to stay here with your hands on the right side of the left foot like this, if this feels good, or if you would like to, you can just begin to walk the knee, the back knee and the back foot out to come into our lizard lunge. So you really want to feel a stretch here through the thigh. You want to shine your heart forward. And if you would like to go further, you can also see if you can come on to the forearms. Once again, you just pick your depth and your threshold. It's all about your internal experience and understanding your personal edge. Then when you're ready, you can slowly begin to walk the hands back. From 
can you just bring your knee slightly in again? You're going to walk the right fingertips off of the mat. You're going to keep your knee over your heel and your left leg. You're going to inhale, extend the left arm up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw your right foot towards your sit bone. And then reach for your foot with your hand. So you're going to stay here if this feels good. If not, you're going to draw the foot towards the sit bone. And then you're going to lean forward. So you're going to get a thigh stretch here. You want to keep your chest nice and buoyant and arc it up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, you can slowly release the foot. Bring the hands back on the inside of, uh, sorry, on the right side of the left foot. You're going to pick the back heel up, knee up, then drop the back heel. Plant the knife edges of the feet. And this time you're going to make sure that the heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, push into the soles of the feet as you rebound up. Knee over ankle. Making sure that your hips are squaring up to the long side of the mat. Extend the arms out. Really nice and long through the crown. Shoulders slightly dropped, but energy re rebounding out through the fingertips. Feel your warrior. And then take your eye gaze to the fingers of the front hand. So we're going to nice and strong, feeling powerful. Then from here, bring your right hand to your right thigh. Flip your left hand, and then you're going to bring the left arm overhead as you create a side body stretch into your humble warrior. Then from here, bring the arms back into your warrior. Pull your right hip towards the back of the mat as you extend or straighten, sorry, your left leg. Keep your arms as they are. And then you're going to keep the right hip pulling back and then you're going to reach your left arm forward. Reach, reach, reach. And then as you do, you're going to bring your left hand either to your shin or to the floor or to your foot. I like to keep mine on my ankle. Once again, you find your threshold and you work with it. Right arm goes up to the ceiling. Left eye goes up as well. And we find ourselves in triangle pose. Take a nice few breaths. Now when you're ready, you're going to bring your right hand to the inside of your left foot. Come to the ball of the back foot. Pick up the heel, bend into the left knee. Once again, make sure the knee is over the left ankle. And as you inhale, sweep your arm up, your left arm up. We come to a revolved lunge. Eye gaze goes to the ceiling. Squeeze the feet towards one another to feel nice and strong. Push through the hand to keep that energy going up. And then when you're ready, bring your hands on the outside of the left foot. Push into the mat, round your shoulders as you draw your feet towards the back of the mat and then move through your vinyasa. So squeeze your elbows as you lower your chest and then from here, instead of going down, we're going to roll over the toes, draw the shoulder blades back and can come to our upward facing dog. Then from here, roll over the toes, draw the hips up. Ah, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to reconnect to the breath. Feeling really nice and strong and grounded. Witnessing the nature of the breath. And how can I be more aware and present through this internal experience? When you're ready, you're going to bring your right leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee, draw your knee in towards your chest as you plant your foot in the middle of your hands. And then you're going to bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Inhale into fingertips, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the thighs as you draw the head towards the earth. Then inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, come back through centre. 
Take a moment to reconnect to your mountain pose. Maybe close your eyes. And then we'll continue to move on. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale as you begin to sit into your chair, bending the knees as you drop the hips. Keep the tailbone slightly tucked. Arms go up, eye gaze goes up, navel towards the spine. And then you exhale, you begin to fold forward all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale into fingertips, lengthen the heart forward. So you exhale, shift all the way into the right foot. Let the left foot be buoyant. And then pick the left leg up. Pull it all the way behind you, really flex the toes, point the toes, sorry. And then bend nice and generously into the right knee as you find the back of the mat with your left foot. Drop down onto your knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, pull the arms behind you. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, draw them behind you. Last inhale, sweep the arms up. And on your next breath, bring your hands down. You're just going to pivot your right foot just out towards the right side. To give yourself a little bit of space. Bring the hands on the inside of the right foot. Sorry, on the left side of the right foot. So you can stay here if you want. Maybe just, if you need it, just take, pick up your knee and then just walk it back a little bit. You should feel a stretch through the inner hip, uh, the, through the, <laughs> excuse me, through, in front of the thigh, through the thigh, and then through the hip on the left side. So you can stay here if you took the variation on the other side and came down onto your forearms. Do that as well. Your knee might want to go out to the side, but you're going to work towards drawing it towards this midline. And then when you're ready, slowly walk the hands back to centre. You're just going to pull the hips back. Just walk your left knee in slightly um, back towards the center. <laughs> and we're going to go into a thigh stretch. So from here, you're going to bring your fingertips off of the mat. Inhale as you bring your right arm up. Then you're going to draw your foot towards your sit bone and then reach for your foot with your right hand. You can stay here if you want to go deeper. Connect the foot and the sit bones together and begin to shift the weight forward into your thigh stretch, arcing your heart towards the ceiling. And then begin to release. Bring your hands to frame your front foot. Pick up your back knee, drop your heel, and let your foot be parallel to the short edge of the mat. Make sure that your heel and your arch are in line with one another. Really push through the soles of the feet as you inhale. Sweep the arms up. Sink into the knee. Feel stability through both edges of your feet. Extend the arms up. Inhale, feel along through the crown. And then take your eye gaze over the middle finger of the right hand. From here, bring your left hand to your left thigh. Flip your right hand over and come into your uh, exalted warrior. And from here, you're going to <laughs> you're going to come back into your warrior, and then you're going to extend the right leg, draw your left hip towards the back of your mat, and you're going to imagine someone's pulling your right arm. But you're just moving kind of the top of your body. So pulling it forward and then slowly you'll begin to hinge. And then find where it feels good, either your shin, the floor, or for me it'll be my ankle. A little bit of a micro bend in the left, in the right knee. Left arm goes up to the ceiling. Eye gaze follows. Take some nice juicy breaths. And then when you're ready, you're gonna Pick up the back heel, come to the ball of the back foot, left hand comes down to the mat, 
bend into the right knee. Inhale, extend the right arm up, come into your revolved lunge. Once again, draw the feet towards one another to help that energy rebound up and make you feel buoyant. And then from here, you're going to plant both the hands. You're going to push into the mat and you're going to bring the right foot to the back with your left foot. Shift the weight forward as you inhale and then as you exhale, squeeze your elbows in towards your midline, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, roll over your toes. Shun your half forward into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, roll over the toes back into your downward dog. Whew. Feels good. So then from here, keep the shape. You want to shift the weight to your right foot, bring your left foot up towards the sky. Once again, making sure the hips square by making sure the pinky toe is facing towards the earth. Draw your knee in towards your chest. Sweep the leg through and plant it as best as you can between your hands. Stay here for a moment and then bring your right foot to your left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the arms all the way up. I guess goes to the ceiling. Exhale, come through center. Take a moment here. You're breathing, drinking the energy up, feeling the heat. So from here we're going to continue and we're going to do a little bit of balancing. So what I want you to do is you're going to shift all of the weight into your left foot. Keep a slight bend in that knee, just a little micro bend. Really flex. Uh, so I really stretch the, the, the fan the toes out. Really spread out your toes and push them into the mat to really allow that energy to come back into your pelvis. The more stability in, your, in the soles of your feet, the more balance you'll find. So then from here, you're going to draw the right knee up towards the chest. You keep your hands on your hips if you want. If this feels good, you can stay here. If you'd like to go further, extend the leg. Really point the toe. Imagine that there's a little ball between your thighs and you're squeezing that together. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Maybe extend the arms up. Feel nice and long. Shoulders down. And then nice and slow, begin to flex the foot. And then from here, you're going to shift that weight, that foot, through your, <laughs> through your line, and you're going to draw it behind you. So we've done this before. You're going to anticipate kind of the mat behind you and then lower into your high lunge. So to find the alignment of your high lunge, your feet are about hip width apart, you're in the ball of your back foot. Keep a knee over your ankle, slight tuck of the tailbone, light through the upper body, eye gaze to the ceiling. Take some nice breaths, then from here, Bring your hands down, just slightly forward of your left foot. What I want you to do is you really want to feel buoyant, as if someone's got a balloon under this right thigh. Push the mat away from you, as if you're pushing against the wall. Really resist, and then you're going to pick your, right, your left foot up and draw it up towards your bum. Drawing your knee in towards your tricep. So really squeeze, engage, maybe shake. It's okay. And then draw the left knee towards the left wrist. Bring your right foot in front of the right thigh. You're going to come into your pigeon pose. So depending on your level, if you need it, you can place a pillow or a block under the sit bone of the left side. Otherwise, come into your pigeon pose. I like to keep my back foot tucked. I just feel like this helps with my alignment of the hips. So you really want to draw your right hip forward, left hip back. Let's keep that square. Come onto the fingertips. 
Feel you nice and buoyant through the upper body. And then when you're ready, exhale as you slowly begin to walk your hands forward. You can stay here if it's comfortable. You can bring your crown, uh, sorry, your third eye to the mat. Take a few breaths into this shape. sit bone and you're just going to bring your right thigh forward so keep your left knee bent what you're going to do is you're going to wrap both of your arms around your right thigh you're going to feel nice and tall through the crown both sit bones connected to the earth and you're just going to pull your thigh in towards your chest so if you want and this is a nice stretch you can stay here or if you'd like to go further you begin to point the toes and draw the foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Then from here, you're gonna extend the right leg. You're gonna bring the left foot outside of your right thigh and kind of if you can if it's comfortable you're going to kind of face it away the bring the heel towards the outside and then face the toes away from you and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring your right hand to the top of the mat and then you're just going to roll so you're just going to roll onto the outer hip you're going to make sure that the knife edge of your foot is connected to the earth and then this left foot pushing nice and deep into the mat. So this is a little bit of a funny shape, but we're going to transition. So what's going to happen is you're going to push through the palm of the hand and then through the edge of the foot, through the sole of this foot, and you're going to draw your hips up. So inhale, push it up, bring your left arm over into a modified side plank and then from here you're just going to pivot and then find your hands at the back of the mat align yourself into your downward dog inhale come forward exhale squeeze the elbows in as you lower into chaturanga inhale roll over the toes upward facing dog exhale roll over the toes downward facing dog now, I know we're facing the back of the mat. That's okay, because we're going to find ourselves at the top of the mat again as we move through the other side. So to do this, we have to first get back into our starting position. So from here, to get to the back of your mat, technically now the top of the mat, you can either walk or jump. For me, I'm going to jump, so I'm going to come to the balls of my feet on an inhale. I'm going to take my eye gaze towards my hands. As I exhale, I'm going to bend my knees and then jump. As I inhale, I'm going to come to fingertips, create length in my spine. And then exhale, draw the head towards the earth. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up. I go to the ceiling. Exhale. Come back through center. Good job. So from here, we're going to move through the other side. So what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to shift all the way into your right leg. Let the left leg feel buoyant. Inhale, draw the left knee up towards the chest. Put your hands on your hips if you want. Stay here. Find a balance by focusing on a single point. We refer to this as our drishti. This will allow the mind to focus and retain the balance. If you want to go further, you can begin to extend that leg out. Point your toes. Imagine this, a little ball between your thighs. Squeeze that ball nice and tight. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Inhale the arms up. And then as you exhale, keep your arms up 
as you sweep your leg behind you. You're going to anticipate the back of the mat by bending generously into the right knee, nice and slow. Inhale. Come into your high lunge. The back foot is on the ball of the feet. The right knee is over the right heel. Arms up, eye gaze to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your hands to frame your front foot. Really resist the mat with your hands and your toes. Pick up your right knee, draw it in towards your right tricep. Squeeze, 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 feel engaged and strong. And then you're gonna align your right knee to your right wrist. Left foot just, for, just in front of the left thigh. As you lower down into your pigeon pose. And you can walk this back foot out to find your space. Once again, support yourself as you need to. I'll keep my back toes tucked because I like how it helps keep my hips square. I want the hips to be facing forward. Rise onto your fingertips, puff the chest up to create length. And then as you exhale, you begin to walk the hands forward. Find what feels good for you. So maybe you want to drop the head. Just giving the little third eye a bit of a massage. I really enjoy this posture because it makes me feel supported by the earth. Yeah. And then when you're ready, you can begin to walk the hands back, shift the weight into the right sit bone as you just bring your left leg forward with you. Once again, just keeping the shape of the bent knee on your right side. Left, lift your left thigh up as you wrap your arms around and really pull the thigh in towards the chest. Feel nice and long through the crown. Stay here if this is a good stretch. If not, you want to go further. Point your toes, and as you inhale, extend your leg up. Exhale. Fold. We'll drop the drop leg. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And then you're going to extend this leg out. Bring your right foot outside of your left thigh. Left and right, it's a bit tricky sometimes, I know. <laughs> Bring your hand at the top of the mat, and then you're just gonna roll onto the outer hip. By doing this, you're gonna come, you're gonna allow the knife edge of your foot on your left foot to come down. And then if you can, you're just gonna walk this foot so it's facing forward. From here, Make sure that you're connected through the hand and both feet. You're gonna draw the hip up. Come into your modified, modified plank, side plank. And then you're gonna rotate the left ribs towards the sky, right arm extends. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring your right hand to the top of the mat. Readjust your feet, wiggle them around, and find your downward dog. Good job. So drink that energy in through the soles of the feet, up through the palms of the hands, into the pelvis. Take your right gaze forward, and you can either walk or jump. If you're going to jump, bend generously to the knees as you exhale. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sink the hips as you slowly lower down onto the bum. From here, just walk your feet slightly forward. Inhale, puff your chest up as you begin to draw your chin towards your chest. Curl down one vertebrae at a time onto your back. Roll down onto your back. From here, I'm going to get you to extend your right leg out. Draw your left knee in towards your chest. You're going to bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee and you're going to drop the left knee over to the right side. Anchor your left shoulder down and then take your eye gaze over to the left side.
from here, slowly come back to center. Bring your left leg out, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Bring your left hand onto the outside of your right knee as you drop it over to the left side, anchoring down your right shoulder, extending the right arm out, and eye gaze goes over to the right side. And then when you're ready, slowly coming back to center. Just for a moment, I'm going to get you to extend your legs up, extend your arms up. There's no effort in this, so you don't really need to engage. You just want to keep your hands and your feet up. And we're going to give ourselves the benefit of an inversion without really inverting. So what this does, it allows the blood to flow naturally back into the heart, giving the heart a little bit of a rest. Taking a few grounding breaths. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna get you to bend your knees, wrap your arms around your shins, draw your knees towards your forehead and your forehead towards your knees, and give yourself a nice, big, well-deserved hug. Maybe roll side to side to look, release the lower back. We're going to come into our final resting pose. So I'm going to get you to extend the legs out, extend the arms out, just sweep the feet from side to side to really release anything from the lower back and make sure that your heart and your neck are really melting into the mat. Close your eyes. Feel supported by the earth. As you begin to lengthen your breath, see how heavy you can make your body feel. to pay attention to your heart center. I want you to imagine that there's a white light coming from your heart. As you inhale, you feel this energy drawing up through the soles of the feet, saturating every cell of the body. And then as you exhale, you feel this white light expand in your heart center. Inhale, drawing the energy up. Feeling it flow through you. Exhaling, expanding this golden light from the heart. With every exhale, this light expands becomes bigger. And as you do this, I want you to think about the last time that you really smiled. Find a memory. And relive that moment where you felt real joy. Now I want 
want you to visualize somebody standing in front of you. And this can be anybody, a friend, a family member, a stranger, it doesn't really matter, whoever comes first to mind. I want you to maintain that feeling of joy that you've been envisioning. And as you inhale, feeling the energy coming into your body. And then as you exhale, this golden light is going to shine and connect with the heart center of this person that you're imagining. Every inhale, drawing the life force in through the body. And exhaling, expanding this heart center and this joy into the other person. So that they too may feel this lightness. back into your body. Give your fingers and the toes a little wriggle. Inhale as you extend the arms overhead. Stretch through the toes and the fingers. And then as you exhale, drop. Draw the knees in towards the chest. And then just roll onto your side. And then you're ready. And in your own time, slowly begin to come into a seated position. Just find a nice, easy, comfortable place. Just before the end of the class, I just wanted to share the sound with you. So, keeping your eyes closed still, just take a moment, feeling tapped into the heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Really appreciate you being here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.